Okay, showtime. Well, hello, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We're kind of wrapping up the all the videos today. We've got one more to do. And uh, then we'll be on pause again. And uh, about the time I remember how to work this software, we're, we're out of product again. So today we're going to have a look at the flashy vapor. And I guess the people that are really into them call them flashies. Ah. And I've seen these before. You know, you'd be surfing through uh, somebody's catalog. That's what I still call them, even though you're on the internet. It's still a catalog to me. Uh, but anyhow, you get down to the to the end, and here's this big, tall, looking, funny looking thing, you know, and it's always pretty cheap. And I just kind of always passed them by. But anyhow, recently they've came out with a small 22 diameter version, and a couple of people did reviews on them, and uh, it piqued my interest. Not for those, but uh, I guess if I don't, if I want a real mouth to lung, I'd probably go for one of those. Uh, but anyhow, I didn't, you know, so I watched a few videos. It piqued my interest. I started watching a few videos, and there's not very many English speaking videos on these and that always to me throws up a little flag saying something something different here something something different uh so <clears throat> that also piqued my interest so I'm, I'm watching and if you uh love to tinker to change stuff up, play with this, that, or the other. Uh, this is really a neat little RTA to do that with. <clears throat> now, that also piqued my interest. So, anyhow, I said, well, let's pick one up. Let's see what it's all about. Because uh, uh, I assume, from just what little information I can uh, find, is there's lots of versions of this. And uh, there might even be a a rabbit hole you can go down with these uh you know but there's like a whole flashy co community <laughs> best i can tell kind of like there's a, a dwarf uh community and i i never guessed you know way back um, years and years ago i did videos on you know some dwarves i've got two or three of them up there on the shelf and i, ne I never guessed at that time that there would be a dwarf rabbit hole and a dwarf community and all that it just it it, I, it blew my mind. Maybe I'm just a, you know an old fogey, but it blew my mind. So anyhow, <clears throat> today we're taking a look, and this is going to be a clone. This is a XXS. Oh, I still can't say that. SXK clone, and it is the uh, flashy vapor version 4.5 S plus. Now. I don't even pretend to know what all that means, okay? Uh, the people that are out there that are really into them, boy, they, I'm sure they could rattle off exactly what it meant, what it means and all this. But anyhow, that's the one we're going to be looking at. And uh, it looks like uh, one of the things that caught my eye was the how many different ways uh, people would uh, coil them, put coils in them. Because there seemed to be, if you kind of looked at several videos, there seemed to be like a, an, and I'm, I'm not being racist or anything like this, but there seemed to be like an Asian preferred method, and then kind of like everybody else's preferred method, and then an MTL method. There's so There seemed to be like, uh, you know, several different uh, preferences. Also, when it comes to wicking. <laughs> Excuse me. When it comes to Wiccan, there seems to be uh, just uh, a lot of different uh, preferences in how people do them. And they all seem to work. That's the neat thing about it because a lot of times, you know, um, you're really, you know, uh, locked down to one particular way that works. And, you know, <clears throat> but there seems to be a lot of different ways to play with this. So, like I say, if you like to tinker, and play around you know this is right up your alley to me so <clears throat> we may find out differently 
let's go down up close and we'll take a look at it. Okay. Here's a little plastic tube we're all used to seeing. Uh, flashy vapor version 4.5 S plus. Not a whole lot else to show you. Just a little QR code that I can't show. So we're used to seeing these. Um, if you're used to dealing with clones, you're used to seeing these little plastic tubes. So let's take her off here and get this out of here. Uh, here's our our tank. And let's see what else we get here. And we're going to get a whole bunch of O-rings and uh, this little what in the world is that? I have no idea what that's for. It's probably some kind of tool. It's a little dime looking thing, coin looking thing. I think it is a tool to take something loose. Uh, I think. Now, let's see. What are we going to get here? Looks like we get... Hmm. Don't get very many extra airflow inserts uh, with this one. Looks like we get one, two, well, maybe you do three and a blind one. So you you get a couple of, you get a few extra ones, some deck screws. Of course, it comes with two. And let's see. And they're not even the same either. This one's, this one's bigger than that one. Of course, you know, I prefer to have them tuned. I mean, it, it's the same, but I get, yeah, I guess you, you can do anything you want. Uh, so there's a screwdriver, and what do we get here? Oh, look, man, some old antique um, silica wick with a straight pin. And there, there is an, another alternate <laughs> coiling and wicking method used in this. But it is like prehistoric. And, you know, one of these days, if I'm just totally bored out of my mind, I might give this a try just to see what it's like. But uh, we're not going to do it today because I am, I mean, this is, this is prehistoric. Yeah. <laughs> and I might get pissed people off by saying that, but I, that's what I classify it as. So one of these days, if I get bored, I might give this a try just to see what the hell it, <laughs> what, the, what it vapes like. But um, till then, we're going to. We're going to pass on it, go back to uh, normal space. All right, so it, start with at the top, we got a 510 dual O-ring. Not a bad looking uh, drip tip, uh, not too short, uh, not about medium, you know. You can put your own in there if you want, okay. Then I believe we're going to grab this whole thing here, because this, this is a bottom fill. We're going back in time. Okay, there's the bottom fill. Put your uh, fill it up that way. And there's what the there's what that little tool was for. Let me get that out. Or right, a coin. I mean, you can use a penny, dime, nickel, whatever. No, what's what kind of coin coin you want to put in there? You can use a coin to do this. But they give you this. Now, I've had this apart and cleaned it up and lubed the O-rings and everything. Uh, so I used, I don't know what I used. I think I used the uh, tool for the Vandivate thing. But uh, just anything to slide down in here and then unscrew the unscrew the center section. And all this will come apart. I just want to make sure I had it back good. Yeah, I got it back good and tight. So anyhow... You're going to take it off like that, and uh, that's how you're going to fill it up. Like I say, we're going, we're going back in time, but it's all right. Then you've got your airflow adjusters here and here. You've got this little uh, the 510 sticks out quite a quite a ways, and while we're here. 
I thought I always stress this. While we're here, let's make sure that's tight. Well, sometimes, especially on clones, they won't be good and tight. So always check that. Now, your juice is going to come out of this, uh, out of the top. It's going to go down through these little, little bitty holes there. And those aren't O-rings. Those are little inserts. Okay? And you can take these out. You can stuff them with cotton. You can stuff them with string. You can stuff them with um, stainless steel mesh. Uh, so, I mean, or you can get, I don't know, I think you can even get different size little restrictors. Or you can have nothing at all. You know, if you're bathing a, a, a extra thick juice, just take the damn things out. But this is a, you can regulate your juice flow by what you put into these little holes here. And I found that just to be uh, just kind of neat because it was so versatile. Uh, so let's screw it on something so I can get a grip on it. The only part I don't like about it, and it'll be all right, but the only part that I don't really care for is, of course, this doesn't screw onto here. It's held in place with O-rings. So you just put it on something, you can get a grip on it, and then just pull it up. And uh, you can see the VG. This is why you really need to keep the O-rings lubed. Now, I have seen people that have taken one of these O-rings off and just left it off to make this easier to get on and off. So that's an option, but anyhow, that's that is uh, basically as far as this goes. Unless you wanted to take the, um, you know, the positive pin out and all that stuff, and I guess you could if you uh, had a reason to. But anyhow, you got your positive over here because you got your little. Uh, uh, come on, are you gonna focus for me? Yeah, you got your little insulator there. Okay, just two post, <laughs> plain Jane old timing uh, deck. Now, as you, when you see here, here's those little, you can see those little tubes down in there that I was telling you about. That's your juice feed. Okay, and then you see you got your air holes, or air pins coming in from the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these out right now. And hopefully we won't lose them because they are tiny. Now, one of the things I, I like about this is if you take these out, and it takes some time. Like I say, if you like to tinker, this is up your alley because you can take those out. And it gives you a nice view through the housing, see? You get a nice view from one side all the way to the other. So what that allows you to do is gives you a little better uh, view of where your coil is. You can position uh, your coil with a whole lot more accuracy uh, because you can actually see, uh, see through there. And I thought that was just neat because uh, lately I've gotten in really uh, picky uh, on certain devices. If it has side airflow, I'm really picky on where I, exactly I put my coil. So, and you can play with it. You can say, well, let's move it up to here. Let's bring it down to here. You know, you can play with it and see how much, uh, how much it changes the vape and uh, all kinds of stuff. Like I say, you can just tinker with this. Uh, uh, all day long, all day long. Okay, now <clears throat> I did want to show some of the versatility of this uh, tank. And the first one I want to show is the way I've seen it 
and the way I would probably pick it for an MTL. Now, always make sure you watch your orientation. You'll see your little tab lines up with your little pin, okay? That also lines up with one of the airflows, okay? So <clears throat> when you're putting your coil in, just keep that in mind. Now, one of the ways I saw, and I'm just going to hold this up here because I'm, I'm assuming you can reason out that I'm going to pull this leg over here around this uh, screw and tighten it down. <clears throat> but what I wanted to show was, let's say you wanted to do an MTL vape. Uh, you could put one, one uh, adjusting pin over here, and it doesn't matter. You could put it on either side. But there's one pin that you get, and it's uh, they call it a blind pin, but it's, it's basically a plug. I call it a plug because it's solid. So if you just wanted airflow on one side, you can put your, let's say we put our plug in this side over here, and we put a little small uh, air pin in this side because we wanted to do mouth to lung, okay? So our air pin is going to be here corresponding to our, our locating pin at the bottom. Well, what you can do, you can if you're going to go to that stream, what you can do is you can bias the coil instead of having it up here, because this is the area a lot of people put it in, uh, in the center, you know, so that you're getting airflow from both sides. And that's where you would want it. But if you kind of, in my opinion, if you want to try them out the long, then close off one of the air, air holes completely, and then you can bias the coil. You can move it over, position it up to more, of closer to your airflow that you're getting, the one airflow you're getting. Uh, because I think there'd be a big difference between having it way over here, your airflow pin comes in, and then the air gets is able to disperse once it gets out of that pin quite a bit and start moving in places, you, you know, you're not really getting the full benefit of it. Just my opinion. Uh, but this allows you, you could bias the coil over, move it over, and you could play with it and get it as close or as far away from the pin as you want it from your airflow. Uh, so that was just an extra uh, point of versatility. I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, and also there's, like I say, when it gets back to the wicking methods, of course this would be a, I'm not gonna use this coil I'm just using it as a uh, uh, a visual aid, and I've got VG everywhere. Is it lubed up them O-rings real good? Get almost to the point I can't have a hard time operating. Uh, but now, when it gets to the uh, gets back to the 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 coiling methods. Uh, you can. There's people I've seen. They put it in like this, and they bring they bring the legs around the post, tighten them down, and then they take their coiling rod. Okay. In other words, they'd hold it in here similar to this, and go ahead and wrap their leads, tie their leads, and then they would take their coiling rod and pull bend the leads and pull the coil up to the top. Okay, that's one way of doing it. The other way, just quickly do this by hand. There's a whole lot more precise ways of doing this. But the other way of doing it is bend the, bend the ear, already pre-bend the ears. And then just put the coil in, you can leave it straight up and go ahead and attach uh, your leads, wrap your leads around and already have it, um, you have this little dog leg bent into it and uh, set it up on top. Now, uh, let me see, yeah, and that would be the right way, you know, kind of the right way to wrap it. I would go maybe a different route, uh, but 
of course you wouldn't want uh i just did this by hand you would want these bends here to be a lot closer to the coil you want them right at the coil uh and uh, i just did this by hand right quick but you of course you'd want your coiling rod in and bend, and just bend them over uh immediately bend the lead immediately once it came out of the coil right here <clears throat> so then that gets you similar to this effect this is exaggerated but it gives you an idea uh, but some people do it like that uh that would uh, uh decrease the amount of uh uh leg wire i guess uh i don't know if one's any easier than the other to me it would probably be easier uh, doing them like that and then bending the coil back up uh, as far as ease goes uh, it would probably be easier doing it that way and i think that's the way we'll probably go now if you'll notice there is no dome in here whatsoever okay so if you're really a dome believer then <clears throat> this might not be for you uh but especially when it comes to i mean this is of course a lot of this is going to be uh, the room's going to be taken up with cotton so it's not going to be as, as spacious as it looks uh, when it comes down to the vaping. But this might be a, a little detrimental to an MTL if you're just going to do uh, a real tight draw, airflow from one side. Might be detrimental to your flavor on MTL. And that might be why they did the 22 uh, millimeter version to cut down on this uh, amount of space in here. Uh, so... <clears throat> We're gonna put us a pretty good size, uh, pretty good size coil in this one to give it a try. <clears throat> and also something that limits you on here is this old style, just two post regular screw deck. Uh, you know, if you try to put uh, a great big old Clapton or a big old Alien or something like that, uh, you're gonna have some trouble. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you know you're gonna have trouble so let me build a coil and uh, uh, put it in we'll give this a try okay I think I'm gonna go with this style uh, way because uh, it gets my coil a little closer to where I want it to be uh, I think folding it up gets it a little bit too high. So we're just going to capture it and capture it like this. Okay, but we got her captured pretty good. I mean, it's in there. It ain't going nowhere. I'll go ahead and go ahead and cut our leads here so we can check our height see if it's where, anywhere close to where we want it, want it to be well, let's straighten up that coil later so no sense jacking with the coil we don't like how it's gonna uh, work so anyhow we'll put that on and let's see all right that's got it just about where we want it could stand to be well it's a lot of room in there I mean that out of room. I just don't know about this. So let's see what we can do here about if we can straighten our coil up a little bit maybe. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Check our height again. And I don't know, may may end up wanting it up a little higher, but that's let's see yeah it could stand to be a hair just a touch i think just a touch higher let's see what that looks like that looks that looks pretty good it could stand to be i think it could stand to be a hair higher 
Because this is all going to depend on, you know, where you like your coil. Some people, uh, I'm just kind of going for a uh, stand. Yeah, that's, that's about where I want mine. I might have got it just a hair too high. Let's see if we can lower it just a little bit. And I'll do it. Yeah, I'm going right there. So, you gotta love how your little screwdrivers just disappear. You have them in your hand, you lay them down, and they disappear. That's going pretty good. And what did that come out to? Uh, 1.2 ohms. So it's not bad. We're kind of going for a, uh, a restricted, relaxed, direct lung is kind of what I'm shooting for. And like I say, uh, there's been a lot of different uh, wicking techniques. Some people take this and wrap it around, stuff it down in here, like so. Okay, I don't know if that's uh, necessary or not, but that's that's how they do it. They do it similar to that, and uh, I can kind of see an advantage to that because it takes up some of this uh, space in here. Uh, but remember, your little feed tubes are going to come down from the top and hit about they hit about on top of those deck screws is where they hit. So as long as you've got a good fluff of cotton in this area right here, then it's going to wick properly. And uh, I'm not sure if it matters too much what you do with this, uh, the rest of this. But, and you don't want it interfering with. Uh, your airflow going under your coil so you know a lot of people just taking they cut it kind of right here just like that and just uh and that's it uh, but i think what i'm going to do i'm going to do some i kind of liked the idea of fluff it up a little right here and scoot it around and tuck it in. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something just like that. But I'm going to trim. I'm going to trim this off here. Like about a 45. So I kind of end up with just a tail to bring around and tuck. Give us a good fluffing. This little trim, something like that. See what that looks like. Yeah, kind of like the way that looks. In all reality, it might not make a rat's ass in hell. All right, so let's start juicing this up. And we got a what they used to call cotton, a bale, a bale of cotton. Yeah, that's the way cotton is. Uh, a lot of cotton is a, a bale of cotton which is a lot of cotton. <laughs> but that's about what we got here. We got a bale of cotton. So it's going to take quite a bit of juice. Get that tucked in there like that. So, of course, one could argue that uh, if you got this much cotton, then you got that much uh, reserve of juice. So, if it doesn't, you know, feed 
very quickly. Uh, you got a little bit of reserve there for it to use, kind of like a dripper. You know, you've got a little bit of in reserve. One could argue that. One also could argue that it will might cause it to flood if you go this way. But anyhow, I don't know. We're going to find out. So that's basically uh, what I'm doing so far. And uh, now we get to decide what uh, airflows we want. Okay, I'm going to switch uh, the ones that were in there out with these uh, on the screen here. I'll switch these out. I'll switch the ones that were in there out with these bigger ones. Just to, just as a, a starting point. Probably should have went with a little bit bigger pool, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. The good thing about it is you can change these out just whenever you want to. And uh, okay, so we got those on, and we'll line up our little deal. Make sure we don't totally kill our distort our cotton hardly. That seems to be going on okay, and we're gonna push her on down. And we got plenty of room, looks like. Make sure we ain't shorted. We're not shorted. We're still good to go. Good to go on that. So let's put a little bit of juice in here. Or this, this is not the good thing about this old style, old school stuff is you can get your deck out with a full, uh, full tank of juice. You can take your deck. You can go play with your deck. So we got her put back together. Let's find a drip tip. Let's go back up on top and we'll uh, start experimenting. It's a tall. It's it is tall now. It's tall. Okay. Well, I'm thinking I might should have went back with those middle of the road pins that were in it to start with airflow pins because. I think this is going to be too a little too much air, but we're going we're going to try. It. It's part of this is part of this is the fun of the hobbyist paper, is uh, you get to mess with it. So now that coil come out to one point two. I have no idea if that needs to be the kind of coil or the right coil or right size. I have no idea. That's what you you, you get into when you try something on a device you never seen before uh, so anyhow i think we're gonna since i got some quite a bit of airflow i don't know 1.2 let's try it with i'm tempted to get well that's gonna be safe we'll go 16 watts and uh start with that this is 1.2 ohm so but i got lots of airflow so let's see what it does Okay, lots of airflow. It's not flooding. I have to let that cotton break in a minute. I can. I'm getting some flavor. Getting a lot of nicotine. This is the. Uh, Oh, uh, what is this? This is either 18 or 20. Uh, so I'm, I'm getting a lot of that. Now, I can't uh, quote on a throat hit. I'm not, I, I, I very seldom get a throat hit on anything anymore. So, <clears throat> really, I'm not a good judge of that. But it is vaping. I'll tell you what, let's do. Let me try those. Uh, let me put those middle of the road pins in. Okay, so we put the middle size pins in, and hopefully I can find some 
documentation later that'll give us an idea what size those were. Cut the airflow down a, a lot, a lot. Still not really a mouth alone. Really, really, <coughs> let's get a vape mouth, see if I can tell you. That is a vast difference, vast difference. That's almost a mouth alone. That is an extremely tight, uh, restricted direct lung, or you you could even classify it as mouth lung. Uh, that is, but it's a vast, vast amount of difference there. Of course, I guess you can mix and match these. I think it would kind of mess with your airflow, but uh, it's a little too loose for to do a real mouth lung, but. Uh, just not, uh, not where it needs to be, in my opinion. It's not a bad vape. Let's, let me bump the wattage up a little bit here, see what happens. A little higher. Oof, need to drink coffee. At least caffeine to counteract the nicotine. And don't set that cup on my wife's computer, she'll have a fit. Hmm. We're getting there. Can't believe I'm pumping this much wattage. I'm going I'm up to 25 now through a 1.2 ohm coil. Uh, now it's starting to come around. I just wouldn't get enough wattage, but that is a a vast difference in airflow uh, and like I say I guess you can mix and match them I don't know about that anything possible who knows I might eventually try that I tell you what I do want to try right quick I wanted to see what it would look like on this uh, digi flavor side by side I don't have a whole lot of side by sides but anyhow there's what it looks like it sticks up Quite a ways uh, higher on that one. It doesn't obstruct the uh, airflow. Let's make sure they don't, and they don't hit. It screws on good. So I don't have a battery in this. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Uh, so there's what it looks like, and you you probably could. Well, let's just see. Let's see. But see, this is the problem with some of this older stuff, and you kind of go, you go to a newer mod. Uh, it's going to be hard to refill it that way unless you take uh, the whole. Now you could pull, pull the whole device off and expose your deck and all that, but that's a lot of trouble to refill. Uh, so. And I guess maybe if you didn't get it quite as tight here, you might could refill it, you know, on on the the mod as it as it would be. But, uh, you know, if maybe aesthetics is more important than you than uh, ease of use. Either way, there's what it looks like. It still sticks up quite a bit, not really too far. It still would be a comfortable vape. Uh, I don't like the ones where just the drip tips exposed. I, I I do like it to stand up a little bit. Uh, so, 
Now it may work in the, the sub box. If you take the little extender out, it might fit in it pretty good too. But either way, it's going to be a total pain. It would be impossible to refill it on that one without uh, taking it apart or pulling the deck loose or, uh, you know, that's the downfall on these uh, bottom fill systems on the, on the older, older type or newer type mods, put it that way, and the side by side, especially. Uh, of course, even some of the slide tops, the, the, the top slides on, you know, if it doesn't key in right when you tighten it up, well, you've got to either loosen it up or do something to fill it because it may not be pointed in the right direction. Uh, but, you know, not everything fits and matches everything. So let's put her back on this old deal here. And I was just trying to get away from this. Now, a lot of people, seems like maybe the the European folks likes these tall, this tall look. Uh, I've seen a lot come, uh, tall stuff come from over there. They may like that. That might be the style over there because if you if you look on the, especially on the, uh, the hand checks and whatnot people do, and they say where they're from, it it varies greatly. Uh, the the look that uh, different people prefer, you know. Well, that's just a round wire build, and that's pretty good flavor, pretty good. Now, to get better, I would uh, maybe go with a bigger coil. You could get away with a, a, uh, some kind of smaller Clapton uh, wire. I believe that would grab a hold of, of a small Clapton wire. Uh, even if you, say, had some, you know, like a an Alien or one of those that's basically flat, or a uh, fused Clapton that's flat. You could probably catch one side under those screws because they were some pretty good screws and pretty flat. They weren't like rounded like some of them are. Uh, so you might could capture the wire with uh, one of those. I couldn't say for sure. Yeah, that's starting to that that's starting to come around. That's that's uh that's vapable. Might could even go up on the wattage a little more. <clears throat> that's vapable. Yeah, that's starting to come around. I'm I'm just amazed at how much how many watts I'm having uh and that may have something to do with the, the gravity feed too. Uh, the wick being right to the point of being oversaturated. So you need a little more power. Maybe that's the deal. Don't know. I remember back in the day before the wattage scam took place, you know, everybody just, you, you adjusted your voltage and you just did it to taste. Uh, you know, you just did it to taste. Of course, you can go overboard and burn your cotton, but you know, you just kept playing with it till you found the the taste and the, the type of vape you wanted. You know, you weren't caught up on the number uh, or anything like that. You weren't, you know, fixated on it. Oh, it's got to be. Well, yeah, it's got to be this number, this many watts. Well, you know, just you know, tune to tune to to flavor or tune to amount of cloud or whatever you. You know, want to go to there. Don't get caught up on a number. But this many more, I'm up to 28 now. And uh, this has, uh, this would have to go on a dual battery. Well, it's on a dual battery, so yeah, I definitely have to have this. But, oh, it's heavy. Of course, this mod is heavy too, all of it. Pretty heavy. This is a, a recliner. This is a recliner coffee table setup. That's what this is. This is not something I would put in my pocket, not something I would tote with me anywhere. Uh, it's not a travel, a travel device. But there's so many devices out there. You can have, you know, and it only really takes two. Uh, you can have your coffee table 
uh, vape and your pocket vape, you know, and they're not that expensive at these days. So now let's look right quick. I hope we're still recording. Looks like we are. Let me see if I can find the, uh, okay. So to start with, it's 316 stainless steel. Now this is the SXK version and they also have a, uh, the Y version on here and, uh, we're at 3F. We paid uh, 23 bucks for it. Not a bad price. Not a bad price. The quality on this one seems to be okay. Uh, as far as the machining and all, don't really have a complaint with that. Uh, now, here is, okay, supposedly, those big air certs I had in were 2.1 millimeters, and I don't doubt it. They were they were big. So if you add those together, you're looking at four. Uh, so anyhow, that was quite a bit. So the two we got in now are a one millimeter, 1.0 millimeter. And the two smaller ones that I haven't tried yet were supposed to be 0.9 millimeters. So that's what comes in the kit. Uh, now you can get, I see uh, below here, you can get a pretty good variety of uh, extra ones. You can get some 1.8s, uh, you can get some 1.4s, and you can get some 1.1s. So if you're, I think it would have been a good idea to, uh, if I was going to, you know, use this as as a for sure daily like daily vape you know was going to really use it i would probably go ahead and get these extra airflows because there's a i mean between 2.1 and 1 that is a tremendous difference uh it's actually a little too much difference for me uh you know because i'm not i'm not really 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 comfortable even uh with any of them that came in the box so I'd recommend if you really want to try this, and they're not expensive either. They're like a dollar sixty a piece. So you know, throw them in the throw them in the cart. Get you a real good selection for what four and a half bucks. You can get all of them. So <clears throat> I would recommend doing that because I'm really not totally happy with uh, what came in the box for for me. Now some people might be tickled to death. Uh, with just what come in the box. So you can try it that way and order you some more later if you want or whatever. Uh, but anyhow, they, they are available and very reasonably priced too, really. Uh, so let's see what else we got here. And they also have the uh, where the juice flow flows down. They have different sizes uh, of those restrictors to be what I'd call an restrictor or orifice. Uh, they have some extra, it's different size, uh, a different size of those uh, that you can get, or you can just take the ones out, you know, if you were trying to do direct loan. You could definitely do a direct loan with the, with the, uh, uh, the twos, the 2.1s, two because you, two 2.1s, two so that's four millimeters you add together, that's a lot of air. I think that's about all the pertinent information uh you can get here but they offer all sorts of deals there's even a a different there's a then it was sold out or i'd have bought it uh because they, they have a different style deck uh sxk does they have a different style deck which is uh more it looks more like what we're used to seeing as far as a two post deck uh and they're still sold out god knows how long they'll be sold out but uh it's a more conventional deck, kind of what we're used to seeing. Uh, I'd have probably got one if they hadn't been sold out. They're thirteen dollars, so they're, I mean, they're a little bit high. Uh, but it's uh, it's uh, it's still just two post, but it's a, a whole lot more used to uh, more like what we're kind of used to seeing. Uh, it's not really the old prehistoric version. So anyhow, 
they do it's it sold out but they, they 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 made it at one time and they have a a pet top cap uh like i say they've got quite a bit of stuff for this so you can uh you can dive down that rabbit hole if you want to <clears throat> so let's put this to the side for the moment <clears throat> have another vape that might turn out to be okay i turn out to be okay but that is a um, real a re, re, a sure enough restricted uh, direct line it's what i would call it or an extremely loose mouth to line and i can tell let's see let me turn it up i want to see what will happen here i can tell that wick is did not leak out. That's the deal about airflow. Eventually it might. Uh, I can tell that wick is thoroughly saturated. Uh, which is a, a good thing. To me, it gives you, gives you better flavor. Uh, but it does give you a different, kind of a different style of vape, you might say. But uh, it is, I can tell it is thoroughly saturated. Now, the juice I put in is 50-50. So it's real thin. You know, yeah, flavor's starting to come around. Flavor's starting to come around. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm liking it more and more. I really am. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to vape it a while and see what it does. And uh, yeah, twenty-three bucks. Okay, if you like to tinker. If you love if you like to tinker all oh, this is for you because you've got just variations left and right uh of coil placement and this that and another and uh hell you could probably it'd be kind of hard with those two posts but you, you could well you could basically put two coils in there but you wouldn't get much airflow through the uh through the center uh, between them you just have one you know one deal coming on both sides uh, I don't know how good that would work you know and it would be a lot of work to put two coils in there but there's there, there's room <laughs> and you got this cavern in there uh, to put stuff in so uh, you know I don't know if there's a need for it I mean there's it'd be it'd be a lot of damn work it'd be hard to do then there's there's the you know the, the one i did the other day the seven dollar one you know it's it's designed for two coils and you know it works just fine for uh because that's the way it's designed you know we need to quit trying to make stuff do what it wasn't designed to do <clears throat> yeah flavors coming around on that and that's just a plain old plain jane round wire coil and not that big of a coil to boot so i could vape that uh so yeah for 23 bucks if you like to tinker and if you're not thrown off by the uh the height the length you know yeah i'd have to recommend it uh because you can get accessories for it like i say i think there's people out there there's a you know a following uh so there might be a lot of accessories i don't even know about because <clears throat> i hadn't went down this rabbit hole <clears throat> but anyhow yeah 23 bucks yeah so far i'd have to say it's okay if it don't do, do something stupid and uh start leaking or puking or something along that line i believe i would i would recommend this so if it does something stupid in its plain jane configuration i'll come back show you make a video maybe even figure out a fix for it of course most you know fixes for that kind of stuff is just a matter of of uh, wicking nine times out of ten and uh, whatnot and if you're just uh, you know I'm really really into the mouth the lung they got a new one an authentic that's a 22 millimeter device and it's basically designed for mouth the lung but nobody's cloned it yet so you're gonna have to you know dig way down in that ass pocket 
uh, if you want one of those. So I think that's about all. Till next time, we'll see you later.